Wow, <laughs> that was not what I expected. It melts in your mouth. It was good. Wow. What's good, you guys? Kerry Hokama here, I'm human too. We're all about sharing stories that make us better, right? But today is not just about sharing stories, it's about having an epic meal together. And with that, I wanna introduce Michelin sushi chef Yasu. What's up, man, how you doing? Good. Hey, thank, thank you, you so much. I thank you for inviting us into your craft, right? I'm excited. I brought some super friends today. Yeah. To, to partake in your delicious craft, right? So exciting. Yes, so what are you preparing for us today, brother? So, I brought some special fish from oh. Japan, and then also I prepared a premium omakase course for tonight. So this is the ultimate, right? The mm -hmm. ultimate premium course that allowed him to earn <laughs> that newly minted Michelin star fame. So I'm so excited. And how many pieces, how many courses are we so serving? Five dishes and then 10 pieces of sushi. That's a lot of food, Yep. right? Mm -hmm. And so because you're bringing in a lot, I brought some really cool friends. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to introduce them to you right now. Sure. Is that okay? Yep. Cool. All right, so first up, a very good personal friend of mine. He's a serial entrepreneur, restaurateur, has over 60 plus doors collectively all across the United States. Just killing it. Let's give it up for my man, Andy Nguyen. <laughs> hey, yo, Andy, um, what, what excites you about today and what's your favorite piece of sushi? What excites me about today is I get to try Michelin star sushi. Uh, I've had an experience before but I got food poisoned prior to going to it. So hopefully today is going to be a completely different experience. Uh, I have a lot of high expectations and uh, I guess my favorite piece of sushi is a, a great unagi. Ooh. Ooh, I like that unagi. So this next person is a digital marketing strategist, content creator. She's a savant, a self-proclaimed food fanatic. Let's give it up for Varissa Brum, AKA Miso Hungry. <laughs> Misa, what you up to? Like, what are you excited about today? And what's your favorite piece of sushi? I am excited to try the hairy crab today. It looks delicious. And my favorite piece of sushi is uni. And I heard there's three kinds tonight, so. Wow, Ooh. that's what's up. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, to this next beautiful avatar looking creature right here. He's a food blogger, a marketing expert, and the patriarch of the world famous Hungry Fam with over 5 million followers worldwide. Let's all give it up for Sun Cern Lin. Yeah, so I've had a lot of sushi in my life, but surprisingly, I've never had omakase. So I'm very excited for this experience. And I really like fatty tuna. So hopefully that's on the menu today. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> suspense, suspense. All right, and last but not least, we have another personal friend of mine. She's a, an amazing food blogger, food influencer. I like to call her a mental health advocate and a community developer. Let's give it up for Soy Nguyen, AKA Food with Soy. Uh, you are really good. All right, so what about you? What about you, Soy? I mean, what, what excites you most about today and what is your favorite piece of sushi typically? I definitely think it's like the mystery. Like I don't know what we're gonna eat and it's kind of like that excitement before like a first date or a blind date. So I'm really excited for that. I think my favorite piece of sushi is definitely all salmon, salmon belly, salmon, ikura, like all the salmon. So hopefully there's some salmon. You know, he's like, oh. <laughs> so today, before we start, we're going to have an official guest who's going to come and help us with the opening ceremony. His name is Tuan Lee. He's the CEO and founder of Vervet, an amazing hand cocktail in a can for us to enjoy and just pop this party started right right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Yeah. And it's approved by Chef Yasu. Yes. So good. All right. So let's go. Let's get this party started right here, brother. Okay. 
This is a Junmai Ginjo sake made completely with California grown Yamada Nishiki rice and our own tonic syrup uh, with yuzu, kumquat, holy basil, and cascade hops. Enjoy, everyone. Kanpai. Kanpai. Wow. Oh, so oh, wow. This is scary. I feel like I can like, chug all of it. <laughs> you can. We have more. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Bye. Kanpai. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice. I think this is a good starter for everything we're about to start right now. Yeah, open up the palate. So. Cheer that, open up the palate. Everyone's getting ready to go and let's get going. Round one. All right, Chef Yasu, what are we starting with round one? So the first one is our company makes soba noodle from scratch every morning. So this is, you know, fresh soba noodles, which is back wheat noodle. And then I mix, I collaborate with uni that someone likes it. Who liked it again? Everyone. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some. So in the soup, there's a Canadian sea urchin. I mixed it already. And then on top is going to be Hokkaido sea urchin. <sighs> Hope you're so ready. Can enjoy two different uni here. All right, let's, let's serve it. Can I ask you, chef, what was your inspiration for serving this first? Oh, uh, this is also the same idea, like open up your palate. Ooh, that's nice. All right, so what are we doing now? So this is called Oshiboli. Oshiboli basically means squeezing towels. <laughs> Why is it so important for you to, to do that though? Because. So many Japanese customers, they don't go to the restaurant mm -hmm. wash hand before eating. So that's why we said this. Ooh, shots fired. Did you hear that? Oh, right there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We get used to this kind of guitars. There's your heat machine, though. Like. <laughs> you gotta sound like a boss. Wow. Gotcha. Wow. wow. Best, definitely the best soba noodles I've ever had. Sure. Mm. The best soba noodles I've ever had. Yeah, this has been. Wow. Well, what would you guys think? Wow, well, that's, that's incredible. I give it a Michelin star. Dang, you got a Michelin star for that one. Yeah. I got though. I got though. All right, so that concludes round one. I hope you guys are off to a good start. Yeah. Can you explain what we're having next, round two? The next one is a Canadian sweet shrimp with the caviar so this this fruit shrimp is by itself it's already good has a good flavor so i don't do anything else like i just washed with the soy sauce special soy sauce which is called nikiri so nikiri has sake sweet sake and then soy sauce so this is like i'm gonna put on the sushi later and then i just put the caviar on it so sweet shrimp has a sweetness already and then saltiness from caviar so please eat it together okay one biter yes no no there's a i cut it into four pieces so you can oh gotcha use a chopstick so uh you're putting some gold flakes on yes yes and is that typically for what it does is it obviously makes aesthetically more pleasing and is there an actual taste to that typically no there's no taste so it's an aesthetic beauty yeah. yes <laughs> dump that whole thing on there be generous be generous <laughs> Yeah. I normally don't like sweet shrimp, Whoa. you know, a few all the classic places. Mm -hmm. This is definitely the best one I've had. Wow, sure. it's like so clean. Yeah, it's like, yes. Everything pairs really well with this because it's like very light. Has that nice citrusy flavor to it. I haven't eaten sweet shrimp in five years and that's the first time um, that just changed my life today. So what do we have? Next, chef. Next is called shirae. Shirae, okay. Shirae. So shiro is, in Japanese, shiro is white. Ae is mixed. And what are the ingredients here? What do you put So in? there's a seawater eel, which is anago, though. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. And then also maitake mushroom, which is dancing mushroom. And then blue crown, and then also snow peas.
What's beautiful is that a lot of sushi chefs, especially who are here in the US, would get their fish directly from like say Tsukiji Market in, in Japan, which he still does. At the same time, his secret weapon is his mom who's a fish distributor at a base out of Chiba, Japan. So he gets a lot of proprietary type of fish that he uses that a lot of other sushi chefs don't get to use. Wow. And that really stamps a, like a really unique mark. And by the way, he's the only Michelin chef to come out of the South Bay. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Sesame is really, really good. That sauce is so good. I wish I could just carry it around, put it in my french fries, my pizza, my burger. Wow. The texture with the snow peas mm -hmm. was really good. So man, that was amazing. I've had that one before and that's definitely at the top of my list. Man, so far you're like three for three. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts? Uh, uh, just as you're preparing and you get some good feedback, like it, is that what you enjoy as a sushi chef? Yeah. The feedback and the... I just feel they are really nice. <laughs> they just really nice. Okay, so we're done with that. And then if, if Chef Mike could bust the tables right there. Yes. And uh, uh, cameo appearance, Chef Mike. <laughs> Who's excited about eating slow braised water snails today? All, the, all those guys. I so we have one person who's a little bit timid today, a little scared, but we're going to turn him into a believer today. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is the best chance of a yeah. mission star snail. So this, is, <laughs> this is as good as it gets. Yeah, if this cannot do it, then Andy yeah, is a uh, snail lover. <laughs> Uh, smells really good. Let's do sake. All right, give it a shot, y'all. Let's do it. Not gonna lie, I'm nervous, but I'm doing it. The texture's just perfect. I didn't know that sugar could help make it like kind of like mm -hmm. more soft and tender. It's like springy. Mm -hmm. Snail's still not my thing, but that's probably the best one I've had. <laughs> Yeah, it's like almost even like um like clam. Yeah. Like this texture is very interesting. I've never had like snail this like tender before. Oh my gosh. You guys. <gasps> what is that? This is, this is all the fish. Oh, oh. Mm. 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 A little sneak peek of all our favorites. Wow. I see mm -hmm. everyone's dreams are coming true today. Awesome. Oh, oh what? My gosh. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Fatty tuna. Dude, that's ridiculous. Stop, Misha. Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Straight from Japan? Yeah. Wow. We should, my mom's hand. We should center this. It's a little this. bit from my mom Aww. and it's a little bit from Tokyo. Do you have a favorite? Shine. Oh, that's your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Like anything shiny one? I, you like the shiny yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like uh, I like the really fishy one too. I like that. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Wow. All right, chef. So this is course number five. We're getting really excited here. What do we have here? Okay, so we're gonna move on for the sushi. Ooh. Nigiri sushi. Ain't no one complaining. All <laughs> right? Yep. And the first nigiri is gonna be marinated bluefin tuna. <laughs> it's aged for 17 days. <laughs> yeah, and this is from Japan. So in Japanese, maguro zuke. Maguro zuke, yeah. Especially this is called akami, which is lean part. So it's lean. Tuna, yeah. Usually, you know, sushi restaurants start with a white fish, lighter one. First. Right. But omakase sushi restaurant, people serve, the first piece is what they have a confidence on. Mm. So oh. this is my, you know, confidence. Hey, I like that, a confident chef. Yep. <laughs> And 
with this one, is uh, wasabi already inside or how do yeah, you? Yeah, already inside. Okay. So traditional sushi is what put the wasabi in it yep. to kill the germs and stuff. Oh, interesting. Oh. And then they use lots of bamboo, right? That's oh. also protect from the germs. Wow. Oh. Gotcha. Thank you, chef. Mm -hmm. So a long time ago, like if people make a bento box on the back side of lid, they put the wasabi. <gasps> oh. To keep it clean. Yeah. Okay, so before I start, like I serve the finger wipe. Okay. So okay. Usually in Japan at the oh you can just leave it like that. Oh, you just wipe your finger. Yeah. So oh, usually like in Japan at the sushi counter, people use a hand to pick up sushi. Okay. So that's why it's shaped like that. So if you use a hand, it's tip, wipe the tip of the finger. Okay. Like that. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. Mm. Wow, it just melts in your mouth. Wow, the wasabi is so light too. It isn't like a, a crazy wow. wasabi. That... Don't bite it. Oh, it's wow. great. Mm. So, course number six, chef. By the way, mm -hmm. that number five. Everyone just thought it was like the amazing like zuket, right? That was really good. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to like, you know, come up with another good one. So we expect a lot. What do we have here? Okay, so this is a halibut. It's okay. cured in the salt about 45 minutes. So the, it brings up the flavor from the meat. If I say halibut, people imagine like a huge... Right, halibut. exactly. But in Japan, we never catch that. We never say it actually. I see. Oh. Our halibut is only this size, like a flounder size. Like a Japanese guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just went. I just went. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is number seven. This looks really interesting. What this is number seven? This is a same gale in Japanese. Same is a shark. Kale is a flounder. Cheers, 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 I like this one because it was like the last one, except it was more butterier. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like the fat content in this one. Number eight is some special fish, which is called, I think you guys ever heard this, nodo guro? No. Nodo is, in Japanese, nodo is a throat. Oh. Kuro is a black. So when they open mouth, it's all black inside. Oh. And it, they live in the deep water. <gasps> uh, so the English name is black throat perch. Perch. Black. Gotcha. It's a small fish, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like about this. Uh, That's right. The, the thing you're blunt, yeah. So, I basically I don't like to use torch uh -huh. because if I use torch straight to the fish, you could taste the butane. Mm. But like if I go to like a catering party and stuff, sometimes I cannot use like a charcoal grill, so that's why I use this. Okay. And then once fire transfer to the charcoal, it's reduce the smell of the butane. It kind of filters it. Mm. I see. That's why I use that. That was probably my second favorite fish of the night. Ooh, that's a thing! Next 
is kind of challenging and in what way so <laughs> kind of it's kind of weird one challenging for you or for us oh, hold on. Uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh so you should try first and <laughs> I'll, I'll explain what that is all right now what are, what are the little pieces at least like with this that is a chive chive okay and then this is a grated radish with a chili pasting Cheers. 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 Oh. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> wow. That was not what I expected. It melts in your mouth. But it's good. Wow. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I was watching you I love it. I love it. I love it. It's almost like like popping bulb. Yeah. <laughs> it enters your mouth and then boop, it breaks and then you're like. Oh, it's like a cream. The creaminess comes out from it. Yeah, so creamy. Has anybody tried that before? No, never. I've never, it's the first I've never time. tried that. It's so clean. Let me know when you'd like to like for it to be what revealed. <laughs> so what what they ate just now was cod testicles oh. filled with sperm. <laughs> Honestly, tastes good. It's so good. A delicacy. Fantastic. I will have more of cod sperm <laughs> at right. any time. Actually, right. oh, this is good for tempura too. Yeah, oh, heck yeah. Oh. Oh. Like a French chef, they make, they, you know, they strain it and then make a sauce with oh. it. Oh. My, my friends are gonna set me up as a bean for this one. We call it. <laughs> All right, you guys, man, what a what a trip. We just had some cod testicles and it was filled with creaminess and it was really good. And everybody was pleasantly surprised. So now that we did some some good weirdness, uh, this is actually unique. What are we having here? So this is called kamasu in Japanese, which is barakura. So if you go any like a pier, it said, do not, not eat barracuda, right. but that's talking about the big one. Mm -hmm. So big barracuda eats small fishes, so they keep the mercury in it. Mm -hmm. That's why I use the small, small one. So how has life been like since you earned your Michelin chef uh, oh, star? Life changed. <laughs> How's that? My phone yeah. doesn't stop ringing. Really? Yeah. So I stopped picking up. <laughs> that's smart. Yeah. That's what a lot of these people do now. You know what I mean? They just stop answering, right? So. Don't call us out, Gary. <laughs> There's like a slight sweetness to it. it. Makes it so good. No, it's in your mouth. It is, I love yeah. that. Definitely on the fattier yeah, side. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna do two different kind of uni. Mm -hmm. Both from Hokkaido. Awesome. And why'd you use two different kinds of uni? Is it just more like a a mixing of good type of mixture? Because tonight is a special night, so. Thank you. I, usually I serve only one kind of uni. Ah, what are the two unis? Both from Hokkaido, and then one is called Murasaki uni, which is powerful. And then another one's called Bahum uni. Meanwhile, we got three drunkards over there having their fun. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're drinking a lot more, guys. I think so. Yeah, Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. I can't taste the different. Mm -hmm. I would say the mixed one almost has like a mushroomy, mm. like a pungency, to, like an earthier mm. flavor and like saltier. Yeah, I definitely felt like the, the mixed one had the mix. Like you felt the, the combination. It wasn't just like a smooth, like sweetness to it, which I liked. The female one was like buttery and sweet. And then the other one was like more briny and like earthy. Okay, chef, what do we have here? So we, I'm going to make a bluefin fatty tuna sushi. Okay. Yeah. Bluefin fatty tuna sushi, bluefin. This is aged for 10 days. And then <gasps> This is from Spain. Wow. Next piece is I'm gonna make one by one. I'm gonna bring one on a beach. So please eat it right away. It's about the temperature wise. So. Oh wow. Oh man, so much pressure. <laughs> Whew. All right, so you got a hot plate. Okay. What are you looking for? Color change? for the fat coming up. Wow, so okay. Getting shinier. Yep. Mm-hmm. To melt the fat in the mouth. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, it just keeps lingering. It's so good. Fatty, but smooth. Whoa, 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 whoa. So <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready. Yours. You want to film it? No, 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 you eat it. You eat yours. Wow. Mm. That's all I need. That piece, I'm happy. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Marissa. Yay! Cheers. Thank you. I did like a, the longest one I did in 32. Because of flies wise, I have to do mm. so it's like an Asian you know? So oh my god. For the flies wise, I couldn't reach that long. But some, some try like that. Wow. That is so good. Wow. I can't even describe it. Like silky and smooth and buttery and oh, it's so good. Yes. I got you, Amy. All oh, eyes on you. <laughs> So great. <laughs> there you go. That's beautiful. That's magical right there. That was beautiful. Ooh, so wow. Like, do I have to swallow this? <laughs> <laughs> This is a gizar chad. It's cured in the vinegar. So traditional sushi restaurant have to have to serve this. They have to, huh? Yeah. So okay. The sushi chef judge the skill of the you know knife and stuff. They judge with this fish. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're braiding it, huh? Yep. Okay. Do they do they judge the braiding Not quality? Much. No. Okay. <laughs> Not much. But it is a good job, though, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never played someone's head and stuff. Only fish. <laughs> Only fish. <laughs> yeah. I would let you braid my hair, honestly. This, is, <laughs> this technique is like wonderful. Hey, cheers. 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 Mm. Yeah. I like how it has like this slight vinegary taste. Mm -hmm. And it's also very like pungent, like fishy. Like it's nice depth and flavor for that one. Mm -hmm. So this is monkfish liver, and what's that simmered in dashi? It's, uh, there's no dashi, that's a soy sauce, same. Soy Meeting. sauce, mealing, sake. Gotcha. And then also a little bit of sugar, mm -hmm. and then sliced ginger. Nice. Let's do it. Anyone had a monkfish liver before? Everyone? Sun sir? I don't first think so. time. Yeah, first time. You monkfish version, let's yeah. go. Cheers.
guys. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I like the texture. It's so soft. Mm. The flavor is great. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. For the sushi this is the last one. Okay. This is a Hokkaido hairy crab. So I'm gonna mix it with the hairy crab. We call it kani miso, which is crab butter. So I'm gonna mix with the meat and then butter together and then make sushi. Why did you choose to serve this last, chef? Because this is someone's favorite. I remember. Oh yeah? Yeah, someone's yeah. favorite. Okay, yeah. okay. Love healthy gloves. So. All right. Cheers. 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 Texture is good. Is a perrier leaf in there too? Did you put the leaf in there? You packed in it? I think some of the flavor transferred, right? And then put the club meat mm -hmm. and then make a sushi and then take that. Ah, oh, it transferred. I, I taste a little bit in the back. It's really good. Because you think it, it, it was so good that I didn't even, I thought it was in there. That's how, yeah. yeah. <gasps> tamago! So, chef, we've arrived at the last mm -hmm. dish, tamago. And can you explain why everyone serves tamago at the end and what that means to a sushi chef? I don't know. You don't? <laughs> okay, what's special about your egg? What my is egg is like a, I research with my customers. So this is like half traditional way, half kind of my idea in it. So for the texture wise, my customer like fluffy one. Some chef make like a pudding kind of. Mm. And then mine's more like a souffle. Ooh. Kind of. All right, uh, let's do it. And then in this whole sheet, it has a 10 shrimp and then five scallops in it. Oh, really? Oh. Meanwhile, you got Chef Mike over there. He's about to enjoy that hairy crab. All right. Oh man, he went for it. He went for it. Chef Mike, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. All right, let's go. All right, back to the egg for our finale. Chef, by the way, thank you so much. It's yeah, bottom bro. of the ninth inning. We're about to hit a grand slam right now, <laughs> right? So take us home, brother. Let's go. All right. Yep. With this one, people just eat it like almost like it looks almost like a custard, you know? Yeah, it's like a dessert. Like yeah. Sushi restaurant. Chef, as you're kind of landing the plane now, what do you, how do you feel so far? Are you, are you having a good time with everybody? Still, and... like, constant, like, still. <laughs> <laughs> still pressure? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Every night when I serve customer, I always feel. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's because you care, brother. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, you look so happy preparing it, though. It makes yeah, me yeah. like, you're just like, yeah. it's like you're in your own world. I can't, so, I can't sense the stress at all. I just feel like you're like, yeah, just doing my. But you here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, it's so like squishy. All right, guys. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Finale! Love you guys! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh. Mm. Wow. Wow, it's like dessert. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Oh, how many pieces of these could you eat? So much. I think you're right, I could eat the whole thing. <laughs> okay, whole you thing. need one for your Just birthday. Just hold them and get a slice. Uh -huh. mm. This is such a unique tamago experience. Mm. So really that, that's what uh, constituted the 15 course ultimate premium dinner that Chef has prepared for us today. It's the course that earned him the Michelin star last month. So congratulations. Thank you so much. So Chef, Chef, yes. uh, where can we all continue to follow your journey and support you so that you can continue to do great things with your culinary career? Yep, where so and what? On Instagram, Inaba Manhattan Beach. 
So let's, let's all follow support yeah. and continue to spread the love that he's continuing to spread with his community through his craft. And we just want to say thank you so much. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. So now as, as we close, we also want to highlight all the special guests who came today. Amazing. They came from uh, far places to join us here on a busy evening. And so, uh, Soy, can you just tell us like where we can follow you, what you've been up to, and what, what's been lighting you up lately? Sure. You guys can follow me on all social media platforms. Food with Soy. I'm just constantly making content, helping bridge food, culture, mental health. Always just working, always creating cool things. Yeah, you can find me personally at Hungry OC and my family at Hungry underscore fam. And I've just been really enjoying time with my family. Our son was just born, he's three months old, and we've just been having a great time making memories together. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at me so hungry, and you can follow me along as I explore the local LA food scene. You guys can follow me at Andy the Nguyen. I am on all social media platforms. Um, my current journey is just helping others live out their dreams in the restaurant world and develop new concepts. And I got something out here in Torrance as well. Awesome. So there you have it, you guys. Just a, a family of one coming together, enjoying great culinary art. And uh, really, it's, it's all about building communities together because at one point, you know, my wife and I, we were just uh, ordinary clients of you guys, right? And uh, we went to a different restaurant. We saw him sitting at a different table. We started sending food to each other, you know, through a waiter. A and a lot. <laughs> so we're like, damn, how much is this mess you, man? Like, okay, send that over. You know, but uh, that turned into a, a great relationship and a friendship. And we've been supporting them. He's been supporting us. And so even after he earned his Michelin star, he was still like, heck yeah, let's create this content together. And so that's why we've created and curated a spectacular event where we get to just really exchange stories over food. He's building communities. All of these special guests are doing the same. We have great curators and content creators who are also here to help. And so thank you guys, absolutely. Yes, you guys, having a little too much fun tonight. But continue to follow us, continue to subscribe, like, and uh, share. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah. Awesome.